Well, Karen, his teammates at Minnetonka High School identifying him as Archer Amorosi. And meanwhile, investigators are still here about 12 hours after deputies were first called here to this scene of a report of a suicidal teen threatening his mother. Now the BCA charged with figuring out how this incident led to Amorosi being shot and killed by deputies. I saw a number of uh, police uh, cars pulled up here and uh, they were running towards a house with uh, guns drawn and I walked down here a few feet and I heard uh, get on the ground, get on the ground and sheriff deputies swarming this neighborhood Friday morning surrounding a home in the 6400 block of Oriole Avenue near Highway 7. According to the BCA, a mother called police saying her 16 year old locked her in a garage and threatened her with knives and a baseball bat. She also said he was suicidal. Carver County deputies deployed a taser, and at some point in the encounter, they eventually shot and killed the teen. I just raised a hair on the back of my neck when I heard rounds go off and I was standing here. Extremely shocking, a little bit unnerving. Family members and friends of the teen overcome by emotion as word spread of the shooting. He was a popular student athlete at Minnetonka High School on the lacrosse and football teams. I just played against them in lacrosse for multiple years and I just I don't know, it's just kind of crazy that like, uh, someone I played against for that long, yeah, just passed away. It's kind of scary. Not he was always crazy. a super fun, nice guy. I only knew him a little bit, but I don't know. He was always super fun and nice. He's a nice guy to be around. Investigators on the scene late into the evening, collecting evidence and interviewing witnesses, trying to figure out how a teen's young life ended in death. And here out here, we're still awaiting the formal identification from the Midwest Medical Examiner's Office. They're going to be doing the autopsy. Uh, meanwhile, the, there was a Carver County Sheriff's Deputy who was taken to the hospital as a result of this incident. He was treated and released. The BCA investigating, as we mentioned, they're going to be interviewing those deputies. And after those interviews, we should uh, get their uh, get their deputies the, the ID of those deputies meanwhile. And once the BCA does conduct this investigation, which could take a little while, it will turn its findings over to the Carver County Attorney's Office for review.